And I certainly think that uh, the organization is providing completely uh, self-directed partisan um, information and directives to this government. And we believe that this starts at the top with the prime minister and with the former head of the global orga organization, Dominic Barton. So we believe that these were not awarded through competitive processes and they were not rewarded in this way as a result of the close relationship between the prime minister and Dominic Barton. But Ms. Cousy, with respect, how do you know that? What's the point of undertaking a study if you've already reached those conclusions? And, and just on the point around sole source contracts, from the company, or sorry, from the Ministry of Public Services and Procurement, three contracts were awarded through open competition, total value of those 55 million, as you indicated. 18 contracts were undertaken as what they're calling call-ups against a national master standing offer. And then there were two, I believe, that, that were sole source and the value of those were, were very minimal. So again, how have you jumped to the conclusion that this is kind of the prime minister you know, lining the pockets of his friends when you haven't even started the study yet? Well, 18 plus 2 equals 20, so that's 20 out of 23, which were um, awarded within a single bidder environment. Um, but we come to this conclusion based upon the 50-fold increase. The, McKinsey's implication is not with a single department. We are seeing through the media that their uh, placement is throughout government. It touches many different departments, uh, the ministries of defense, the ministry of health, the ministry of immigration. And as Mr. Housefather pointed out himself, why would the prime minister want to get into bed with a organization, an organization that has such uh, a, a negative ethical record, even criminal, in so many different nations around the world, from the U.S. with their implication, with the opioid crisis, to France with the president and the uh, electoral implications there, Saudi Arabia. I gave eight different examples, Vashi, in government operations um, committee today. But the reason that this is very important for Canadians is because it asks the question, who is running government? Who is making the decision, the policy decisions that affect Canada and affect Canadians, Vashi?